Newswatch starts now. Good evening. We are now into the second month of the school year, and as the workload piles up, so does the level of stress. Planning to reduce to rope in customers from around the world. The CFR and Farm Fair International injects tens of millions of dollars into our local economy. Our Angie Mellon joins us live from the South Lobby with more on that story. The progress of the LRT Metro line hasn't been on track since opening, but good news for students, it's slowly picking up speed. Riders at arriving at Nate from Century Park or other stops are noticing a difference in speed along the line. A colleague and myself, we rode to Central Station yesterday and it took about half the time as it did six months ago, so that was really great to see. Uh, what we're seeing is uh, improvements in terms of travel time for uh, the LRT vehicles. We're getting really close in terms of being able to get to full speed operations between Churchill and Nate. Well, it's pretty slow. Um, still takes me about an hour. I got to leave an hour early to get to school and I live near Clairview. The line is expected to operate at full speed in 2017. For some businesses, the completion of Rogers Place has been more beneficial than for others. The construction of Rogers Place has caused many roadblocks for businesses in the surrounding area. Roads and sidewalks have been shut down, property taxes and rent has gone up, and as a result, some places have gone out of business. But when the Oilers and Flames met on Monday night, the manager of a downtown pub was happy with what he noticed. It was still a preseason game and it's still a Monday. But that being said, uh, we were pretty much at capacity, did not have a table in here at about uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock. With games and concerts now in full swing, Lezik says he's excited to be serving larger crowds than they normally get. A musical salute honoring our veterans took place at City Hall. The Royal Canadian Artillery Band gave thanks to our veterans with the gift of music. This is just a way of us saying thank you to the veterans of all of the wars that are out there, those current serving members, and uh, for their families who stand behind them and support them while they're away. It's important for, to, for me to be here personally because uh, both my grandfather and my uncle both served in the military as engineers. The music played on as veterans and their families were in attendance during this heartwarming tribute to the fallen and to those who still fight. Edmonton's rapid growth has an impact on everyone, including the animals. The Wildlife Rehabilitation Society works hard to get injured and displaced animals back to where they belong. Recently, they have seen a 10 to 15 percent increase in their animal intake. There are many factors that contribute to this, but animal contact with humans is a main one. Edmonton is a growing city, so as um, suburbs grow, there's more roads, there's more buildings, and these are all things that impact wildlife. The society encourages people to move their bird feeders away from windows, drive cautiously and check for animals living in their yard before doing yard work. For more information, you can visit their website at wildlife-edm.ca. Well, that's it for our show this week. We appreciate you joining us. Thanks for watching.